Hello YouTubers, this is uh, part two from this morning. Uh, I told you I was going to do a part two. Uh, just to keep you up to date with what's been happening. So, my social worker came today and she discussed the options uh, again, um, face to face. About if I wanted to stay in, um, with the care company who I'm with then she says that's fine but I would have to manage um, like like um, when she said like direct payments I would have to like manage so I'd be like my it'd be like I'm my own boss basically because um, because uh, the care company that I'm with they've been taken off the good books of um, uh, of the Newcastle Council uh, but the other option is if I still wanted to keep it simple um, uh, and for them to deal with things I will have to move to a, uh, a different company called uh, Careline I think And to be honest, I couldn't really make up my mind, to be honest, because at first I was like, oh, I want to stay, because they've known me since the beginning. Uh, but then another part of me is like, what do I do? So, she's gave me kind of, she's made a third way to make my decision a little easier. Caroline is going to see me face to face. She hasn't said what date, but the, she's going um, to like set up a meeting with me and Caroline face to face and they'll tell me, um, they'll let me know what they do and all the rest of it and who will be the best supporters for me. And if I still decide, you know what, I'm going to say this. Again, I've still got that option, but if I do decide uh, later, going, you know what, I want to go with uh, this other company, then that means I will be transferred over. And yes, it doesn't mean starting things from scratch, but at least, yeah. So, and plus, me and my mum had a bit of a talk about what should I do in this situation. Like, if I stay with the company, it will affect, like, um, my payments, but I'll have to ask my social worker, will it affect my PIP and my DWP, because I'll be technically, if I stay with the company, I'll be technically working with them while still getting care from them, if that makes any sense. Um, if I did want to, if I did want this big step, then again, that would be fine. But my mum's opinion, she said, reckons, whatever suits me, whatever I feel comfortable with, do it. Whatever I don't feel confident with, don't do it. And my mum's reminded me how many big steps I've done in my life. Uh, I've accomplished a lot. And I'm like, what, 23 come 24? And I'm still kind of doing big steps to this very day. I'm kind of... Um, on the spectrum. I'm hoping to go further than the spectrum. Um... I'm hoping to take up driving lessons sometime this month. Um, I faced uh, getting a, my very, very first tattoo last year. Well, it's been nearly a year ago, so I'll just say last year. 
Um, I face so many things and I think to myself, wow, I've come a long way. I've, I've changed and I like this, to be honest. I mean, what, where I was at the beginning, I, I was immature a lot and stuff. But now I, I seem to be trying to get my confidence into facing whatever you call scary things. So, yeah, cool. So that's the plan. So my social worker is going to um, contact Careline, which is a company I might be transferred with, but it has to be my decision to say okay i want to go for them or you know what i'm going to stay with who i'm with but she's still going to do that so that's to me is a step to say this is who they are this is what they they'll do and then we'll take it from there so i was quite pleased about that So that's my update really, uh, is, um, taking my sunglasses off again. That's my update really, that, this is, two seconds, I'm going to put these in my pocket. So I'm walking hooch for about an hour or so. And I forgot my gloves. My hands are going to be frozen. I'm like, oh, my hands. So yeah, so that's the update. Um, I could get a new company, uh, but again, it's up to me really whether or not I want to take this other big step. I think the only thing I'm worried about, every time I put money in, I think I might get confused, like, why I'm taking money out. So, yeah. So, if they're late, I'll take out on their wages. I think that's what she means. And if we're on time, it just goes to them. So say if it's five pound per hour, for example. So I have it for five hours, so that's Felt, some people felt happy with that arrangement with the whole um, budgeting their money and giving it to the care plan uh, their care and uh, sorting things out but I think for me I'm kind of like mm, is that my good step or would I rather them still take over um, and handle it for us. So I've got a lot of uh, thinking to do, especially on the day, whenever that'll be, when uh, I'll see um, Careline. At the moment, I'm still with the 
care company who I'm with. Um, for the time being. Until the day um, I get a meeting face to face with Caroline. And then they'll discuss what they do. And then after that, my social worker will go, Okay, what do you think now? Have you made up your mind? So, that's the step, really. So, I think she said, I've got them for, I've got my old carers at least another week or so. And that's basically enough time for me to decide. So, cool. I think she did say a couple of weeks. Can't really remember. Anyhow. So yeah. So that's the plan. And then later on today, we've got Zoom um, at one forty-five. But I'm actually going to be there. 45 minutes early but I have to make sure that I'm muted and stuff until they go okay Kieran you're up next stuff and uh we only for like what 15 minutes unless it be just a one to one thing I've got a feeling it might be a one to one thing. Oh, I must eat, I must eat well, um, the competitors uh, from, uh, from Zoom. I must eat well at some point saying we must uh, arrange a day um, for most of us to come to like, to come together and have a meet and greet. I don't really want to do that. So I've, gone, I've grown quite fond of them. It's like my new friends from the north. But it does mean whenever I make a decision, I have to tell my other carer who's on maternity leave I have to tell her that I've left the great uh, yeah. that I've left the care company I nearly said the care company's name and last time that got me into trouble so that's what I was like I, I went great and yeah and tried to change the subject, I was just like, yeah. And there you said it, Kieran. Shut up. So yeah, I must do that. But I still hope um, we'll stay in contact uh, like we promised to each other. Uh, stay in contact and find out well, what's been happening and all the rest of it. Uh, how she's doing with uh, her new baby, Harvey. Um, Harvey Lee. And hopefully, we'll still do that meeting thing. Uh, like, she'll meet us at she did say she'll hopefully meet us at some point in town with Harvey Lee and um, Olivia and Logan May and stuff. So still hope that still happens. Okay.
Sarah's daughter, but never met her, unfortunately. Uh, I was hope I was really hoping to meet Lily, but it never happened. So, I mean, I'm not bothered if I do or don't. It's just. When someone makes a promise to me, they have to keep it. And at the moment, was the promises that they've said that they will do, that they promised that they'll, that they'll make this happen, never did. So. Anyway, moving on. Um... I'm going to try and make this a shorter vlog because I can't really think of anything else to say except uh, what's been happening. Um, To be honest, I really can't really think. I can't think of anything else that I could say that I'm hopefully going to be doing. So basically, it's just keep an eye on my next projects, really. We've got. There's Project 2, meet Aloysius. Project 3, um, do you understand me? Which has been uploaded, but I haven't uh, made it public yet. Uh, Project 4, effects of change. Project 5, uh, Angry Birds. Again, I uploaded that, but I haven't made it public. And... Project 6, Legends of Heaven. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking of reading that at some point. I, I've, I mean, I've read it, I've read bits and pieces, but I haven't read the whole thing. So I keep meaning to do that at some point. Anyways, I'll, I'll let you go, YouTubers, because I can't really think of anything else to say, really. I mean, I would say something else, but I won't. Um, anyway. Catch you later, YouTubers. Live long and prosper. See you in the next project. Like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. Ta-da!